Hey guys, occasionally we get asked about television fees. So I guess it must be on the internet, there's some stuff on the internet about it, so people get curious and ask us about what's the story with the NHK fees. So NHK, NHK is the Japan's national broadcaster, television broadcaster, and it's been around since 1950s I think, and they actually have a law, there's a law in Japan that says that NHK can uh, charge everybody who has a television set money for their TV. Uh, and the way it's actually worded is that it says that the law says that every, every person who owns a television must enter into a contract with NHK and pay the fee. That's how it's worded. Uh, and, the, and the fees, are, it's about... Uh, 2,500 yen for two months for the usual system, not satellite system, just for the usual system. 2,500 yen. So NHK is a couple. Of, they've got a couple of channels, and it's okay, you know. It, so the, the the problem that some people have with it is they don't watch it, you know. And this is Japanese people and foreign people. Is that you know they don't watch NHK. They're not interested in it. So, but it's irrelevant. It's not relevant. Uh, the, the only relevant thing is whether you have a TV or not. If you have a TV, then legally you are obliged to enter into, enter into a contract and pay uh, 2,500 yen, so it's about $25 for two months uh, to NHK for that television set. So the way it works is if you have, if you have more than one set in your home, um, you still only pay the one fee. But interestingly, there's a couple of other things there that say things like if you're in a dormitory and you have a TV set, then every individual has to pay, which means that there's a lot of a lot of foreigners that come to Japan for a year and stay in dormitory style places, you know, in the foreign houses, the Gaijin houses, where, you know, everybody's got their own room that they can lock and go out and they share a kitchen and a bathroom, but they have their own bedroom with a TV set. Technically, Everybody who has a TV set in their bedroom should be paying the NHK fee. So, and actually interestingly, reading the law too, it actually says as soon as you get a TV, you should contact NHK. So in other words, if you buy a television set and go back to your apartment with your new TV, you should contact NHK straight away. You should call them and they'll send somebody to do a contract and for you to pay the fee. That's, that's what the law says. Uh, and it also says that you should have to tell NHK every time you move house. So, having explained the way the rules are, <laughs> the reality is, the reality is that obviously this is a really difficult thing for NHK to uh, to actually make work. So they actually have contractors that wander the streets, that go around street to street, and and have a uh, sort of a little computerized thing that tells them who's got the NHK, who's paid the NHK fee and who hasn't. And you sometimes see a sticker. Some, sometimes people have a sticker on their door, uh, above their intercom or above their letterbox or on their door, so that to show that they've paid their NHK fee so they don't have the NHK person knocking on their door. So usually what happens for most people is, you know, they, they come here from another country, they move into an apartment or something, and you might never hear from NHK. It's quite possible that you'll never hear from them. But what, what usually does happen if you do hear from them, usually what happens is you get a knock on the door, you open the door, and there's a person standing there with an with a ID tag, NHK, and their name, and they've got a clipboard or a little, like, little note, notepad computer, and they say, how are you, and who are you? And they'd be looking over your shoulder, because if they see a TV or hear a TV, and they'll ask you, do you have a TV? Do you have a TV set? And if you say yes, or if they can see it or hear it, they'll say to you, what's your name? And they'll write down your name and your address. And they actually can give you an, an invoice at the time and then wait for you to pay it. And I actually had this happen uh, years ago, not long after I first came here the first time, and, and had this happen. And the guys turned up, I had no idea what he's on about. What's your name? I gave him my name. And he's put it into this little thing and came out with a piece of paper and here and and just stood there waiting for the money. <laughs> and it was an invoice. It was an invoice, the first invoice for, you know, 2,500 yen. So that's what they can do. 
Um, now those guys, apparently, those guys are actually contractors and they're on commission. And so they can be really pushy. So there's a lot of stories around, you do hear different stories uh, from Japanese people and from foreigners. I know some Japanese people who just refuse to pay it. And, and they just say, no, uh, you know, I don't, I don't use the NHK, so I'm not paying it. Uh, most Japanese people just accept it as being the deal. You know, I've got a TV, I've just got to pay the fee and that's all there is to it. And they just pay it. Uh, foreigners too, same sort of thing. I mean, there's stories around about foreigners just refusing to answer the question, who are you, you know, what's your name, and just not answering. And I'm sorry, I can't speak Japanese, bye-bye, and close the door. Um, apparently, apparently, NHK don't usually enforce it, but occasionally they do. And there was a couple of cases a few years ago now where they actually took some people to court in Tokyo. And there were people that had lived in the same place for you know 10 years, 20 years, and they, they owed whatever that added up to be. You know, that was like $10,000 or something or $15,000, $20,000, and, and NHK took these people to court and and they were made to pay because the law is really clear. So or NHK just had to show these people who lived in this house for all this time that they had a TV set and they had to pay the money. And they, they did it specifically as a test case and as a as a sort of a, a public, not a public relations thing, but, but specifically for the media exposure. So they just picked a few people that owed a lot of money that, that they hadn't paid, and and took them to court, and and it was in the on on TV and it was in the newspaper and it was a really big deal at the time. NHK made sure that everybody heard about it. The idea was, of course, to intimidate people who owed money into paying. So they can they can do it. Um, they can do it. They can take action once they've got your name and address. Apparently, this is the thing. Once they've got your name and they put you into the system then that fee starts rolling. And you know that adds up to, well, it's about $12 a month, so it's about $150 a year. So if you live in a place for a few years, you know that can end up, you can end up with $1,000 worth of debt to an HK. So, you know, it, it's, it, it, would be, it would be really bad for us to suggest that people don't pay it because that would be breaking the law. And it could be, it could be more hassle than it's worth. If you don't pay it, it could be more hassle it's worth. And one thing in particular that foreigners have to be careful of is that when you renew your visa, any any debt at all, any sort of unpaid debt at all, can be a real problem when you come to renew a visa here. So it, it's probably just best, considering how small amounts it is, you know, it's $12 a month or $25 every couple of months, it, it's probably wise just to pay it. It probably... It probably is wiser just to pay it. it. Less hassle. It's paid then. It's done, and you don't have to worry about it. So, and then once you once you do give them your name, uh, what actually happens is a, a an invoice comes, a, a bill comes every couple of months, and you can just take it to the convenience store. So every, every two months, the bill comes for twenty five dollars. Take it to the convenience store, give them twenty five dollars, and off you go. So it's probably the easiest way. It's probably the easiest way. Um, unless you don't want a TV, of course. Uh, it's probably, depends how long you're going to be here, depends on your lifestyle. But, uh, you know, these days with the internet, it's, uh, it's probably possible not to have a TV at all and just use the internet, and then you don't have to pay an HK. So if you just use the internet to, to do, do that sort of stuff. Um, keeping in mind, of course, illegal downloading is not a good idea in Japan anymore. So the fines are too extreme. But, um, but yeah, no, no TV would be an option. Either no TV or have a TV and pay the fee is probably the two best options. Otherwise, the other alternatives could, could end up putting, putting some hassle on you. Could bring some hassle. So anyway, that should be enough information that those of you who are coming here can make your own decisions now what the best thing to do about the, the television fee is. So there it was. Hope that, hope that was useful for somebody. More videos coming soon.